By the way, this is hollow. <laughs> I hope that doesn't show on the thing. Where I'm like, off with you! It's like very easy. No, you should throw it at one of us and we go, ah! No. <laughs> Rock it! <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three, record. Go. Okay. Uh, oh, you already did it? Never yeah. mind. Okay. Good afternoon, class. Today we're going to be doing trig functions. Uh, the O is dotted, as well as the I. And, and this is, uh, what's this accent called? Onion. Nice. You guys are very culturally collected. All right, speaking of which, does anyone want to... Never mind. <laughs> I, I, I was going to say volunteer, volunteer to be like... Be hit. Wait, paper by my club. I'm good. <laughs> that just does not sound appealing. <laughs> All right, sound effect, please. Hey, <laughs> 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 HD, by the way, first time ever. Yay, HD! Yay! Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> A 1080p? I don't know. This mark was bad. Hold that. It's tired. I'm just like, it's tired. tired. Yeah, I call that mark. That's what I call mark. That's it's that. tired. Mark, tired. Oh, this green is tired. <laughs> All right. So imagine that this is a uh, rotation. Right here. Here's our angle. And this blue line's rotation. Let's make it red. Purple. Right. Yeah, actually. So the red line created an angle with the x axis, and this angle is like so. So if this point was, you see it on your paper, xy, let me ask you a question. If I were to draw a line down here, what is this distance? Right triangle. It is a right triangle. What is this distance? You're it's right. The height. It's, it's the y. y. Oh, it's x. It is the y. It is the y. x is the right component, right? If I were to be really clear about it, what if I said 3, 4, for example? 3, 4. So then the bottom would be 3 and that would be this 4? This would be 3 and this would be 4. Right. So what I'm going to do, though, instead, I'm just going to do x and this is y. This distance here is x. This distance here is y. Okay, and if you imagine, we're talking about a unit circle, or a circle in which this line here is the radius. <coughs> so it's the radius, okay? So we're going to call it R. So that's, okay. So the hypotenuse of the triangle is the radius of Yes, the hypotenuse of the triangle is the radius, and that's going to go all the way around. Okay, so now let's talk about it. If I wanted to get the sign of this particular angle, what sign? What over what? Opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. So it's what over what in this case? Y over R. Y over R. Why is it uh, R? Oh, because it's radius. Radius of a circle that's going around. Right. Think of rotation now. That's what we're working on. Rotation. So we can go ahead and do cosine of theta equals? Y over X. X over R. Right? Because it's adjacent <laughs> over hypotenuse. And then we can do tangent of theta. Y over equals Toa. y over x, that toa is opposite over adjacent, so it's y over x that goes here, nice. okay? And if you were to get the uh, reciprocal functions, cosecant would be the inverse of this, right. or the reciprocal of this, y over, or excuse me, r over y. What would, what's the uh, reciprocal function of cosine? R over x. Uh, what's secant. it called? Secant. 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 secant, and secant would be what over r what? Over r over x. And what's the reciprocal function of tan? Cotangent. Cotangent, which would be? X, x over y. X over y, right? You have those on your paper. Right. Okay, so now we're going to do a little experiment, see what you've learned. Where's my eraser? Not the scientist. What? Okay. <laughs> it's like we're going to do an experiment. <laughs> I'm like loving the idea. 
<laughs> of creating a character. We still haven't come up with a character for this. Math mom. Math mom. I'm serious about that. <laughs> okay. Until further notice. Math Why not? Math mom blueberry. So please graph the point. What's the point? Negative three, four. Graph that point. Make your own axis in the white space provided. Where it says 30 degrees? No. No, in your own, like somewhere in the middle of the page would be better. Yeah. Nice. And graph the point negative three, four. I'm getting it roughly around yeah. there. So if it's right around there, we have to think of the angle that it creates. A reminder that the angle we're always creating is aligned with which axis? The x, isn't it? The x-axis. That's right. So let's make a note of that to ourselves. What, how would, what would be the, the Theta is that? always, I'll tell you in a second, okay. always next to the x-axis. So for example, that. The angle will never be here. Okay, angle will never be here. What about over here in the second quadrant? Where will it be? The bottom one, right? Mm -hmm. Third quadrant, where will it be? Top. Above. Here. And fourth quadrant, where will it be? Top. Right. Oh, so location-wise. Location-wise. Yes. I call this the bow tie, by the way, because it looks like a bow tie. Oh, that's a really cool bow tie. Okay, so the angle will always be within the bow tie. So over here, our triangle will always look like one of these four. It will not ever be this, okay, until further notice. It's not this triangle here, right? So never do this, because this angle here is not next to the x-axis, it's next to the y-axis, and that's not what we want. We want the angle that's next to the x-axis. So let's apply it over here, right? So I'm gonna draw a triangle. Well, aren't they the same thing if you flip it over? They will be, but we wanna to refer to the same thing. Okay. They are, you, you could work with one or the other. Like if this was 30 degrees, I know that this is 60, you know, I, so I could work with either one. But we're gonna work with one next to x. So where's theta, is it below or above? Below. 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 Let's make a triangle, right? What is the vertical distance? Uh, four. Very good. Yeah. Four, positive four. Good job. And what is the uh, x distance or the horizontal distance? Negative three. negative three now, indeed. The distance is negative three, not three. It's, we're going three spaces to the left. Right. So the distance is technically three, but it's the direction wise is negative, so we go negative three to the left. So you want us to label that negative three? Yes, negative three. Yes. Like the, the side length is negative three, or the side length is three? the side length is negative three. Okay. Yes, please. So it's a three, four, five. It is a three, four, five. Very good. That's why I picked these numbers. Mm -hmm. So if we didn't remember that this is a Pythagorean triple, we can do what theorem? Triple. Pythagorean, Pythagorean theorem would help us solve for the radius, but uh, it's a three, four, five. Raise your hand, just quick. I want to get a feel. Who, who's familiar with the three, four, five right triangle? Most of you. Yeah. Okay. Good. So three, four.